so here we are with a Bobcat E45, I believe, yeah, E45 excavator. And I want to tell you about why it's very important to have rental insurance. So I rented this thing for about a month. Um, and about a week ago, I told them, hey, I'm done with it. Come pick it up. Well, it's still sitting here a week later. So obviously had a good chance to use it and keep on with it. So the biggest problem with this E45 is the third function valve here. The third function tends to get hit on a tree if you're anywhere and all the time it's hitting this boom hits a tree and I had it for a month and these guys were out here for over over five times to fix it and I, I, I get it it's my fault I hit this hit this on the side of a tree which caused this fitting here to break off uh, eventually I got so tired of it I mean literally the guy came and fixed it I mean he came and fixed it listen to this so he came he fixed it he left I started driving it to the back I went into a mud hole and the machine leaned to the side a little bit the boom hit a tree spewing fluid everywhere literally <laughs> five minutes after the guy after they they came and fixed it so in good conscience, I couldn't be like, hey, dude, I broke it because that was the fifth time that I did it. And I only had it a week at that point. So from a week on, what I decided to do was just um, use this strap here to hold the thumb, hold the thumb up. And see, it's already starting to ra unravel and stuff. But this cylinder loses loses pressure. Well, this cylinder loses pressure and the thumb will go down and it'll just flap 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 that's no fun so i had to tie it up so essentially it's operating like a manual thumb and if i had to buy a machine i would not be opposed to a manual thumb granted you know being able to pick up whatever you want at any angle is desirable but it caused more trouble than it's worth. So anyway, let me go over some of the damage that I did on this E45 machine. And thank God, I only have to pay 10% up to $500. So up to $500 is what I'm going to have to pay. And I'll probably have to pay $500. There's no doubt. This thing here is a great machine. Use it for a month. I'd love to buy one. Um, $30,000 cash is a bit much to, to buy a machine comparable, maybe an older model. Um, so until then, uh, I might just have to run it again. But it did, its, it did its job, and this did more work than I had a Bobcat S300 with a um, forestry mulcher on it. This did more work as far as removing trees than that thing. I mean, 20 times outworked it. This would you just dig on each side and push down a tree so anyway here we go here's all the damage i've done to the machine as already mentioned i hit those that the third function hit those so much that on this one it broke that's actually broken off so that's broke off the hose is leaking i've already smashed it brand new hoses this right here has got a dent in it um, just a matter of time before before these two just get pushed in. I mean, probably a few more hits and it'll be done. Um, this hydraulic cylinder here for the third function valve, where it comes in right here, is bent. And I mean, I'm thinking one more hit and it's going to break that off. You break that off, you're going to have to replace the whole cylinder. So uh, that's not that's not too fun. Um, that's the biggest issue I've had has been that that thumb and those third those hoses I wish they would route them maybe better or in the inside um, But anyway moving on to the the light here That light smashed completely up against a tree So I'm sure I'll be paying for that um, Here's here's the the wiring harness for that light We come down we come down here and there's another light. 
come down here and here's another light and that's the light for the front clearly and I don't know how that happened but it's it's smashed and I'm looking at all this hydraulic fluid right here I'm assuming that hydraulic fluid is probably from this this is where you can move your boom um, left and right um, don't know where that's coming from but not too good we come around but you know it's it's dirty that rip on the, on the seat was already there um, the tracks have held up good no problems um, now the thing is when you're excavating and moving trees and knocking down trees things are bound to happen and <laughs> we come to here a tree fell on the top here really hard and cracked this whole plastic once it cracked that plastic there's a grate that goes over there that's like a, a vent kind of covers and it doesn't fit anymore all that plastic is cracked let's see if I cracked it on this side too yeah here's some here's some crack and you can see dense dense scrapes that's where that's where it smashed in um, back behind the seat that's where I put the that's where I put the grate so um, and here's here's one of the one of the hydraulic couplings that broke off other than that it's actually been a pretty good machine and everything has been operator error oh here's the blade is kind of bent up on the bottom there probably from using using the bucket and trying to lift up a tree or something along those lines too close and getting the bucket or getting the blade rather so uh they're not indestructible and matter of fact you have so much power that it's really easy to to hurt stuff and you don't even realize it um <laughs> so what do y'all think there you go that's my destruction of an e45 um i can't imagine that's probably got to be five six seven eight thousand dollars worth of damage you know all the bobcat parts are so expensive the hood over on the sides probably two thousand dollars that cylinder and hoses is another five or six hundred um it's leaking on that front cylinder those lights you know so anyway thanks for thanks for watching it was it was fun and um maybe i'll i'll, I'll try to follow up and tell you guys how much that bill was.